how do we integrate this in core and what's the upcoming new things that we uh, we are working on um, of course as I said polarity therapy is, is integral to, to frequency therapy it's always going from plus to minus from uh, uh, sound and no sound from from high pitch to low pitch from high frequency to low frequency so when you do frequency therapy see how you can uh, create a lot of polarities uh, and the most um, the most often forgotten frequency therapy is the, between input or stimuli and no stimuli so never do half an hour frequency therapy without pause always have pauses the pauses are just as important as the stimuli and so now I, I have found a very very um, important indicator uh, for for health and that's that's the heartbeat and the heartbeat is exactly polarity between uh, between the between systolic and diastolic between pressure and release between incoming blood and outgoing blood and between high pressure and low pressure and this is then realized in the concept of heart rate variability so it's it's uh, in a way it's it's contrary to our cultural education that in heart rate variability we can see that a uh, pattern that changes beat per second frequency very very with a high um, degree of, uh, of amplitude is more healthy than if somebody has a very fixed pattern of, uh, of, of heartbeat. So the heart rate variability will be a, a big part of the um, version 7 that I just announced and actually uh, not only heart rate variability we see that the whole pattern of the, the, the heartbeat is kind of a, a language and we want to find a way how to know what pattern means what as, a, as, as you know core stands for coincidence recognition and for modern science all the the beats and the pattern of the heartbeat they are complete uh, coincidental they have no meaning but I believe that the pattern of the heart uh, has a meaning and for this I just um, now testing an, an app that reads your heartbeat uh, with a watch it, so the sensor is on a watch like an optical sensor is on a watch the watch sends it via Bluetooth to the app and then uh, the app analyzes the pattern of the heartbeat and this not only uh, for a few minutes it does it the, the whole day the whole day and night and we, we are not only getting heart rate variability measurements like in other apps but we are seeing what kind of pattern uh, uh, um, res the response to different activities because this the, the, the phone we also have a lot of information what you are doing most of the time maybe you are just getting a bad uh, message on your email or you are watching some YouTube videos or you are browsing some Facebook and all this we know the app can, can access this from your phone and then relate it to what your heartbeat is doing so we will have a way to chart the whole day and night to see what kind of activities create what kind of pattern and this app is already working it's uploading 
this data to the cloud. So we'll have thousands or maybe millions, soon millions of measurements um, on, on the cloud and then we can see what kind of activities or create what kind of reaction by the heart. And also when you do a therapy with the core system, uh, automatically the core 7 will send information to the cloud what kind of therapy is done in this moment. And then the, the wrist watch is measuring your heart response. So this is a completely new thing worldwide that we can relate any activity or any therapy uh, directly to what your heart is doing. So this this is the main the main addition for for uh, seven, and um, I hope that we will be able to. I will be able to show this in January on the big seminar in Rome. Hope some of you have a chance to come. It will be beginning of January and uh, see new version 7.